found, almost fell. We have found a new abandoned house. This one is a nice size home, as you see. There is a way in. Wow, this one's interesting. Welcome everybody to KPE Paranormal Urbex. Today, we are bringing you all here to this abandoned house that I have found online. And we arrived here today to check it out and see if it's abandoned. And it is indeed abandoned. Now the structure, Looks like it's about to fall apart. As you see this wood here, for example, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you'll see it in the video. It's all about to crumble to pieces. Now, upon walking in here, the floor seems sturdy to walk on, so this will definitely be a neat explorer. It may be a basement here. We are not too sure. Let me know what you all think. Make sure to smash the like button, share this video out. This is definitely gonna be a great video for you all to watch. Hope y'all like it and y'all come with. Let's do this. Ooh, hello, hello. Almost fell. There's Joey. This is a very interesting house. I make sure not to fall to the floor if I can. There's Christmas stuff right there. Could be a basement, possibly. You never know. This is a bedroom. Here's a bed frame. Look at this dresser. Ooh. This very interesting room here.
look at these clothes. There's the other part of the bathroom. Same bathroom, I believe. Yeah. I think it's the same bathroom. This other one is like by the room. Let me know. Uh, yes, it is. So there by the room. Yep. I don't want to go in too far due to the fact I'll go right through. Which is a good thing I didn't on that side there, but where we just tap while to go goes through this bathroom here. So that's pretty nice looking bath bathroom back in the day. Um, now that basement, there are windows at the uh, bottom floor. Now, could it be outside for the basement? Here's the air vent. It feels comfortable in here, believe it or not. It actually feels comfortable in here. Possibly basement is outside. More than likely, I've already went through there. Okay, now mango basement might be outside. Because if you check out that one abandoned house that we did, and there's a basement that's outside of this house, so we're going to check that. No basement. No basement. It like Just the ground. Just the ground. Alright, so there's no basement, unfortunately. Um. I am going to take a look around the house. There's not that much weeds or nothing like that back here, so it's good. Bed frame, like a mattress frame. This is the door that we were just at. If I don't get thorn up by, by bushes, but if I don't get thorn up by bushes, that was in that room near the bathroom. Yeah, there's no basement. There's no outside door that leads to the basement. But you really never know unless you look. And that's what I did. I tried to look for y'all the basement. No basement. Just a single floor abandoned home. Uh, like I said, I feel comfortable here. I got twigged. That's part of the adventure. 
Look at this jacket. That just left a lot of clothes, appliances, dishes, shelves. Nothing in there. Very interesting home to say the least. Now. The energy in here is now starting to get a bit heavy now that we've been here for a while. But in the beginning it was like comfortable, peaceful. Energy changes like that. Like the spirits may feel comfortable with you, then they be showing themselves to you. And if they don't feel comfortable, then you won't be able to feel, you know what I'm saying? It all depends on how comfortable they are with you. But like I said, you know, it is getting uh, heavy in here. I may do a few rent pod sessions in here. And cat balls. Do an investigation in his room. I get any equipment out. Y'all let me know what y'all see in the background. Crazy capo still going off all three. Do you like the cap off so that was you? Ooh, thank you. Hello. Can you touch one of the cap offs? I know you were sending them off, all three of them, for quite some time. We see you can do the K2, that's great. Focus the energy, touch the cat ball. Right next to the K2 you're touching now. Please and thank you. You are doing awesome. I knew I felt your energy was heavy. 
You're doing great. Thank you. I want to get more equipment out, okay? That's awesome. So y'all seen that pay two's going off and you're not now it's not going off again. Now it was a spirit and now I feel like a cold chill too. Look at this. There's a spirit right beside me. Energy here is strong. That was a good capture. That was a really good capture. I was able to capture it just in time. And when I asked the spirit, can you touch the cat ball? If that's you. It did not touch the cat ball. But however, it touched the K2 I had laying down. Y'all heard it beep. But when I was setting up the three cat balls, it did not want it to turn off. So I was like, is the spirit turning on the cat balls all three at the same time for a long time? So that's definitely interesting. All right. All right, spirits, I am going to place it right here on the bed frame. K2, okay? Now, hold on now. Back away. Cap off. Cap off. Thank you. Touch that again, please. Touch the cap all again. Alrighty. Already getting stuff. That's awesome. I've already got that going off, the K2. That was cool. I got a hanger on my foot. Hello. How are you? Can you touch that K2 right there? I have laying out a bed frame. The K2, the one with the green light. I want to turn the spare box off, okay? All right. There was a noise back over there. And Joy was standing still. Always back over there. Can you come over here in this room? There was a knock. Yeah, that was a knock. Right behind me. I'm not scared. You come here with respect? So what I'm gonna do I will take this K2, place it on your dresser, okay? Here we go. I would like for you, because I feel your energy. I know you're in this room. Your, en your energy's here. I will place it right here. And I'm gonna do both cat balls. If I don't trip over this wire, ah, there we go. Oh, 
up, up. Alrighty, so you see how I set those cat balls off when I placed it over there, right? Can you do that for us? Lights up red and blue. I know you in here. Because that was going off. Unless something could be attached to the book. Because spirits do tend to attach themselves. That was me. Right there. To the book. Spirits can attach themselves to the book. See what I mean? Spirits can attach themselves to the book. You know, any object in the house. Are you attached to this book here? Can you light up again for us? Oh, wow. Thank you. You can step away now. Step away. Thank you. Pull your energy away. Oh, look at that, y'all. Step away from it. Step away. Step away, please. It's going faster. Please pull your energy away from that. I'm hearing footsteps. I want to try something. Alright, so K2, right? This is the volume. This is the volume knob. There's a spirit attachment on this book. Watch. As soon as I lay it down, it starts beeping. There's a spirit attachment on this book. And that red pop is going off too. I'm getting energy. Holy crap. I'm getting chills. Look at the hair. Alright. Ooh. I'm getting chills. Holy crap. Look at that. Light up to purple, please. Do you not like that you that we know that your attachment is onto that book? Are you upset that we found out that your attachment is to this book? Step away if you are. Are you glad we found out? If you are glad we found out your spirit is attached to this book, can you make the red pod beep? Oh, they're excited. Look, K2 stopped. Touch it to purple, please. Oh, went back. It's going back and forth. Look, I'm on. I'm going to be all the way back here. Capo, Capo, thank you. That was the spirit. So that's red pot's going off. That's going off. Cat pot's going off. There's a spirit attached up to this book. That is so cool. You see, I walked back. It's not doing it again. Thank you so much. Can you touch that cat ball again? The one on the right. Are you female? Sit off that cat ball again.
This is so cool. It wants to light up to purple, but doesn't have enough energy for it. I'm going to pull this away. Cap, I'll thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Cap, I went off again. So now you're figuring out how to set up the cap on now, huh? All right. As soon as I hit recording, light it up. Light it up again. It's okay. I know you're attached to that book. You can see the meter to the red. Light it up again. Ooh, I just got touched. I got touched on my arm. But you see the needle is to the red. And as soon as I got touched, it's going off again. Thank you. I'm gonna reset it. See if I back down to green. And then look at that. Set it off one more time. It's so cool you're doing that. It's over here. Hello. <coughs> it's by this area. It's in front of me. Now it just moved. Right here. Hello. I'm feeling energy. I'm going to turn this off. And I want you to talk into the camera, okay? All right. Here's the camera. Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us how you passed away? How old were you when you passed away? Now, if we recall during the investigation, there was a knock right there on that wall. Can you knock on a wall for us? See if she's still here. Where'd you go? She moved. I saw an orb going through that door to the right. Um, she may be going to this room here. It's okay. No need to be frightened. Right here. Just as I thought. It's okay, ma'am. I'm sure. It's okay. Can you come back over here to this room where it's more stable? Follow me, okay? It's okay. Follow me.
We're not here to hurt you. We're not cat ball. We're not here to hurt you. We're here to communicate with you. And it's not the phone. Phone's not going off because of that. This is a spirit. And earlier in the video, you will see like an orb going out from where we were just talking to her right in front of me into that room, about to go towards the right. But I, you know, walk towards her, tell her, hey, it's okay, come here. And see, look, it's going off. She's back in here now. Feel a cold breeze? She's in here. Thank you. I'm going to play back the footage. I'm hoping to hear your voice on camera. You did amazing. I'm going to place the bulk back on your dresser, okay? Alrighty, well, we got another piece of evidence. The uh, video light died. The spirit built its energy to from the video light to gain energy. This is fully charged. Before we left, as you just see just now, it died. The spirit used the battery from the video light, drained it all the way. This is fully charged before it left. And now it just died. Spirit used the battery juice from the video light to get energy built up. And they did. Now, gotta recharge it when I get home. Yep, as you just see here. So that's another piece of evidence that we got at this spinning house. They like to drain equipment and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. The spirits did a wonderful job. Setting off the K2 when I had it placed down on the shelf and when I was searching for that spirit. That was really cool. She did a great job. Ended up finding out she's a female spirit. So that's very cool. This will wrap up this exploration and investigation of this abandoned house. We definitely caught a lot of amazing evidence. That K2 meter was going crazy. It was going wild, you know what I'm saying? And I believe... As you've all seen in the video, there's a spirit attached to that book. Let me show y'all. So, to wrap things up, show you how old this book is, right? This book, spirit is attached to this book. Like, already as soon as I picked up the book, you can see the chills, you can see the goosebumps, hair standing up. 1979, right? So, there's a spirit attached to this book for some odd reason. And K2 meter just keeps on going crazy, crazy, crazy. I want to place it in a different area, see if that may be a difference. Look at that. Alrighty, so I was testing out the theory. There's a spirit attached to that bulk. As you all remembered, the bulk was right there. Now I moved it over here. Spirit is attached to this bulk. Ooh. Can you test that again, please? Touch it again, please. Thank you. Back away. Thank you. Now, as you see, that was really cool. So the story of this house, of what I feel, there's a lady that passed away here. Um, could be at a hospital where she passed away. and She loved reading that book that we just sold you, right? And so she's have her spirit attached to that book because spirits tend to attach themselves to objects of what they love to do when they were alive. So that was really interesting to see 
that thing go wild and in fact when I move the book to a different area still goes off so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below definitely share this video out this is real paranormal activity here on KPE Paranormal Urbex and until next time I'll see you on the next video love and peace now we're making our way out we got about an hour I would say 30 minute drive back home Definitely a great night. Went from day to night very fast. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Y'all stay tuned for future videos. Share this out. Subscribe. Love and peace.